Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today we're going to be making Yorkshire puddings. So, a great side dish for any uh, meal. So, first of all, I start off with a humble um, Yorkshire pudding. And what I believe should be a Yorkshire pudding. So, crispy on the outside, soft and gooey in the middle. Perfect for wrapping up. Um, parts of your Sunday dinner or whatever you're eating with it. Um, also a great vehicle for gravy. So how to make this? Really simple. What we're going to need is we're going to need 200 millilitres of milk. We're going to need four eggs, a big bowl. Um, so we're just going to crack the eggs into the bowl. Um, then we also need 200 grams of of sifted flour and that is it and you will get a beautiful side dish so we've cracked all the eggs in what we're going to do is we're just going to give that a good old whisk so we've got all that happening then to that like I said we're going to add in the 200 millilitres of milk give that a bit of a mix then we're going to add in the 200 grams of flour. We're going to sift this. Um, the reason you sift it is it generates some air into the flour. And then you're just going to mix that in. And um, while that's mixing in, I just want to take this opportunity to say thanks very much for all the comments. Um, all the subscriptions. It's been great. I really appreciate the support. So here we are. We're going to flavour that with a bit of salt. Now, again, you can become creative with this if you really wanted to. You could add in paprika, you could add in whatever you like. The The real test there is, though, put a spoon in, and as you can see there, it covers the back of the spoon. So, I've got a little muffin tray here. Now, we need the exact amount of oil in each one, so I'm just going to put that three quarters of the way up on each one. Now, I've used vegetable oil here. You can use sunflower oil anything that's got can take a high heat because you want this bubbling away and the easiest way to get it to get a nice level amount of oil in each one is just by tipping the tray up there and by the time you've done it and if you do it right um each one will have it in there there you go nice and simple if you've got beef dripping use beef dripping if you're not a vegetarian um it's even better so Transfer this over to something that can uh, give you an easier pour than the big bowl. Obviously, if you've got a, a, a big jug, big Pyrex jug, use that. Now, the oil's been in the oven heating at 190 degrees for a good 15 minutes. So they're red hot when they come out. So I've just got them on a, a tray there. So you can see there, now we're going to add in the batter mixture. Grab yourself a spoon, because what you want to be doing is when you fill up the that, you want to catch whatever's left so it doesn't sort of mix in to the end. You can see the oils cooking the the batter mixture straight away. That's, that's what you want. Now, it does go a little bit wrong for me here, but it's all about keeping calm. In these kind of scenarios, I run out of the batter mixture. So quick top up um, off screen there. But you can see it's cooking away beautifully. That's what you want. It's, and then the top left, you can see it's already started to push up the batter mixture. So it goes a bit, try to rush it. Don't rush it. But if you can keep your edges as clean as possible, it's, that is perfect. So get that back in the oven. Like I said, you want to make sure that that's done as quick as humanly possible. Now, they've been in the oven. You've just got to leave them in there. You can't, don't op keep opening the oven. Don't keep looking at it. They can go a little bit longer if you want. Um, again, get yourself a little bit more prepared than I am here. <laughs> um, I've got the dish there, that, that a tray. But again, that's what cooking's all about. It's not about being perfect. And as long as it tastes brilliant. And you can see there how much they've risen. That's because I left them in there for 20, 
25 minutes, not opening the door. You see they are perfect. They've got a perfect little vessel for the the gravy or whatever you're going to have it with. Crispy on the outside, gooey in the middle. Absolutely perfect. And that, guys, is my Yorkshire puddings. I hope you're looking after yourselves. I hope you're staying safe. Um, from my family to yours, thanks for watching. Till the next time. Bye-bye.